back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. All right, man, it's your boy Taco Bell Wani, and I gotta let my nuts hang in this video. Yo, let's cut straight to the shit. Um, it's four in the morning and I'm grinding still. We just had the news, you know, Tony Ferguson got injured. Max Holloway replaced him versus Habib. All of that nonsense. Well, little did I know, there was some little buffoonery going on on Twitter. Some fucking clown was like, oh, look at this guy. He's the biggest talentless cunt ever. He stole this from me. Let's address all of this. I'm going to show you fucking talentless. And so you you wanted to go here, man. It's all good. And by the way, the last time I stopped by your chat, didn't you insta ban me? Wasn't that like yesterday? What's up with that insta ban? That's some pussy shit, bro. Insta ban? Like I typed a comment. Is this where the felony gang hangs out? Insta ban. Yeah, fucking you sure let your nut hang there, bro. It's like it was me versus your whole fucking chat. One verse 20 and you got to insta ban me? Sick move, bro. But let's do this. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. This dude wanted to try and call me out. And hey, I'm even going to shout out his channel. Um, MMA Holes. If you're interested in UFC live show channels that um, when live, when fighters call in, you know, people call in and call them niggers and stuff like that. Yeah, shock value shit like that. Come on, Ronda Rousey. Nigger, nigger, nigger. If you're interested in shock value, talentless bullshit like that, go check out check out the MMA holes. And by the way, you wanted to call me talentless, which I can go on and on about how accurate my predictions are about the different fantasy fights or the rap battles or the comedy that I bring to the YouTube MMA world. I can go on about my talent, but that's not necessary. I'd rather point out your bullshit. So, <clears throat> you wanted to share... Oh, look, we both have tip alerts. Whenever I go live, I have tip alerts. But look, the prices are all different. You have two, five, six dollars and ninety cents where you can see your girlfriend's fucking tits. Well, if that's what you call them, whatever you want to say. Six dollars and ninety cents. You got you got your fuck. You calling me talentless and you have to use your fucking girlfriend during your live streams to keep your fucking viewers. Because if you didn't have her there, they would realize, oh, this is just some fucking talentless hack that knows we're looking for a UFC live stream. I I guarantee you 90% of the people that have ever found your channel were looking for a UFC live stream on YouTube and they stumbled across you who is so talentless you have to live stream and pretend you're showing the fights when then people get there and realize oh he's not showing the fights but his girlfriend's showing her tits and they're playing cool little games so hey let's stay oh look he just said come on Ronda Rousey so yeah you're gonna get a couple trolls and people that enjoy the the shock value and the non-censor over there cool you got a couple cool streams bro but it doesn't change the fact you want to talk about talentless you're oh uh, I'm, I'm gonna let's let's continue bro for one uh, before i get this off the screen you're saying yeah I, i'll give you that bro i did get the it, it, and let's do let's just go here because you, you act like you came up with this idea you 100 did not come up with the tip alerts idea but i will say yeah cool story bro we both have tip alerts but let's check this out let's see what all you copy because i got something right here Oh, look, you got a little fuck when you go live and you're pretending that you're showing the fights and you're fucking not. Look, you got this little red thing to draw attention. Oh, so do all of these other live stream channels like alternative rock and metal songs. Oh, you're so talentless. You have to copy. You have to copy them, bro. We both have tip alerts. You both have the red thing. You're a fucking copycat. Cool story, bro. Have I ever copied any of your fucking sayings, any of your logos, anything like that? All right, eat a fucking cock. Now, with that being said, I understand why you're mad. I understand why you're salty because I've only been here since June of 2017 and I've already doubled your views. Holy shit, you've been here since August and you've only got a million views and you're a click. You're showing your girlfriend's tits. You're clickbaiting fucking every single fight. You're doing live streams talking about come on Ronda Rousey, calling fighters, niggers, all of this shock value, and you're still only at half of my views. That's why you're trying to start some shit with me. I get it. Fucking clout chasing. Well, I'm letting my nuts hang, dog. You're clout chasing. I get it. I understand. You want some attention. Here's your attention. But for all of the MMA trolls or all of the fans that think that I'm actually copying this guy and that I'm actually talentless because he's your fucking daddy and you believe whatever he says, that's not the fucking case. You can go check any of my playlists I've made and you can see my talent. You can check my views. They speak for themselves. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I've said enough on this video, it's actually quicker than it needs to be. I could go in and play snippets and do all of this crazy shit, 
but it's not necessary. It's the first of the month, it's the four in the morning, and guess what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow? Fucking grinding, not trying to schedule fights. If you guys wanna see some fucking bullshit, go listen to this guy's uh, interview with Devin Clark. He's got a guy that calls in and calls him a nigger, and it happens like every single show that they have with a black fighter. Felony Charles Bennett, someone called in, called him a nigger. Every single black fighter that they interview, aside from the Al Jermaine Sterling interview, which he said afterward, I'm surprised no one called him a nigger. You can go to his show. He's, you, you can fucking, there's a come on Ronda Rousey dance. I mean, his girlfriend's over there. If you want to see like some A or B cup titties, you can go donate $6.90 and, and see her titties. I mean, yeah, it's, it's real talent over there. I mean, they act like they're showing the fights, you know. If you go to YouTube and you type in UFC 223 live stream, you're going to find this guy. But he's not going to be showing the fights. He's going to be showing his girlfriend's titties. And he's going to be accusing me of being talentless. So with that being said, go if you enjoy any of that bullshit, make sure you go give him a follow or a subscribe or a view. Because clearly that's what he's after. Calling me out on Twitter saying I'm still in his shit because I have tip alerts. Tip alerts. What? What? Tip alerts. It's not like, bro. That's people having people help support the channel. That's got nothing to do with you. I change all of the fucking numbers are different. All of there's no come on Ronda Rousey. There's no Marilyn. Oh my God song. There's no pervert cameraman. There's no fucking Mike Perry wristband flex. Dog, all my shit is unique. I came up with all of it by myself, all the memes, all of that shit I made on there. So, eat a cock, and good luck with your fucking channel, bruh. With that being said, I'm sure I'll be Instaband the next time I go to your channel. Holy fucking P.S. It gets better. I forget this is the exact same guy that tagged a smaller YouTube channel that only had a thousand subscribers. You tagged the FBI fucking anti-piracy warning. You tagged YouTube and Facebook and UFC trying to snitch on these guys. And you called them the exact same thing as me. Unoriginal. Talentless. Like, who the fuck do you think you are, bro? What is your talent? Making songs like this? Come on, Ronda Rousey! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's come on, Ronda Rousey! Nigger face, nigger! Like, bro, you're cool. If you didn't, if you had talent, you wouldn't have to fucking let your viewers call in and say that shit to fighters. If you had talent, you wouldn't have to talk about fucking come on, Ronda Rousey and shit like that. You wouldn't have to be fucking worried about another YouTube channel's tip alerts or another YouTube channel who's doing their own thing. Whenever these guys got big enough, I've never fucking heard of Food Fights Live. But I'm sure once they got big enough, their channel would have got flagged down. But you want to speed up the process because you must be scared of competition or something? What the fuck does them streaming the fights have to do with you? Oh yeah, that's how you get all of your viewers, by acting like you're streaming the fights. So when they're actually showing the fights, that takes away from your fucking shitty show that has no talent, So that, it's acting like you're showing the fights. They're the real deal. So you figure, hmm, let me tag YouTube in the feds and fucking snitch on these guys so I can get my views back. Dog, you're fucking telling on people that have nothing to do with you. Where's Stewie at? Squeak squeaking this bitch. Now I'm out. Oh, and P.S., another thing you fucking stole. I saw when I was at your fucking channel, you have a cool little voice changer. Fucking, you change your voice on your microphone? Yeah, so does fucking C's who streams Fortnite, a game you play. You probably watch his Twitch, got the idea from him, completely fucking ripped it like you probably did your tip alerts, like you did your fucking recording button, little red circle. Dude, you're not that fucking original. Cool fucking story, bro. My channel's still better than yours. I still triple doubling up your views in half the time. So you're clout chasing, bro. With that being said, I hope I don't have to address this again. But hey, maybe some of you, I, I kind of want to because I realize when some of your fans get over here, they're going to realize you're a complete piece of shit for trying to call me out and that you steal ideas. If, if I'm stealing your idea by taking tip alerts and completely changing every single tip alert, then you're stealing this idea. You're also stealing CD in the nerds idea from Twitch when you're changing your voice on your channel. So it's uh, it's only a matter of time before people figure out more st ideas you've stolen, which actually I know in the comments, my boy, Mediocre A 
Ho or Bada Bing Bada Boom, they've actually pointed out multiple ideas you've stolen in your merch line and stuff like that. So you're calling me out for the clout, I get it, but you're not that fucking original, bro. Nice little red circle and nice voice changer. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And if you're an MMA ho and you want to see some real talent and some a real MMA channel, Make sure you hit subscribe, and I'm sure he'll be over there fucking clickbaiting and showing his girlfriend's titties and getting you to donate donate by rolling dice the next time there's a UFC fight. I'm out. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking D O Double G.